top health officials testified on Capitol Hill today outlining the coordinated federal response to Zika as well as confusion surrounding the virus. This comes as the CDC is investigating at least 14 reported cases of the virus being transmitted through sex. For more, we cross live to Marina Portnaya, who's been following this for us from Miami. Uh, Marina, why is the CDC now saying that sexual transmission may be more likely means of transmission for Zika than previously considered? Well, because officials have already confirmed two Zika infections through sex, four other women have tested positive in preliminary tests. But the number may turn out to be a lot higher because authorities are investigating 14 new reports of the Zika virus possibly being transmitted by sex, including two pregnant women. Now, in all of the, if all of the cases are confirmed, it would have major implications for controlling the virus, which the public has been told is primarily spread through the 80s Egyptian mosquito. Now, the deputy director at the CDC has told the, told the New York Times that the department was surprised that their confirmed numbers of uh, Zika being transmitted through sex is as high as it is. Now, all the cases being examined involve women in the continental U.S. who have had sex with men who have traveled to countries where the virus is circulating and then subsequently developed Zika symptoms about one to two weeks of their male partner's symptoms. Now, the CDC sent an alert about the recent development to health care providers on Tuesday, reminding physicians that women who are pregnant or may become pregnant should be advised to avoid unprotected sex with a male uh, partner who has possibly been exposed to Zika virus. From what I understand, though, Marina, there's a lot of confusion uh, surrounding Zika in part because the CDC has actually changed its warnings. What have these federal health officials been wrong about? That's right. Well, when we first started hearing about the Zika outbreak in Latin America and South America, uh, CDC uh, and other health officials say this is a mosquito-borne virus. You can only get it through a mosquito bite. As a matter of fact, in late January, um, officials at the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, according to the New York Times, said that evidence is insufficient to warrant uh, a warning about uh, the virus being transmitted uh, through sex. They said while there's been two instances that suggest the theoretical risk of sexual transmission. Uh, they said the primary vector is clearly mosquitoes. Uh, and ironically, in the U.S., the first uh, local case of transmission of Zika was through sex. And now we're hearing about more confirmed cases. We're hearing about additional investigation into other cases where Zika was uh, transmitted through sex. Um, now, the Z CDC has also told the public that the Zika virus only lives in, 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 a, in the body between 7 to 10 days. But now scientists are uh, have uncovered cases where the virus actually lives in semen uh, for many months, in one case up to 68 days. So now this is turning out not to be a virus that goes away in 7 to 10 days. Uh, now the CDC uh, does admit that they're learning a lot as they go. They don't know all the facts. They're trying to keep the public as informed as they are. Um, but we actually reached out to the CDC asking them, well, why didn't you warn the public that there is a chance of uh, sexual transmission of Zika um, uh, when, when you knew about the cases that date back to 2008, which RT has reported on, and they told our producer that they would get back to us on that answer. Look, they're in a very difficult situation. This is a virus that's new to many top health officials, and, and it's a virus many are not familiar with, um, so it's evolving, and health officials are trying to keep the public as aware as they can, um, but uh, when they say it can only be uh, passed along one way and it turns out to be another, then the public starts to become confused, concerned. As of now, we have at least 82 travel-associated Zika cases in the U.S. That's of, uh, as of February 17th. And as we've been reporting, the World Health Organization estimates between 3 and 4 million cases of Zika could appear in the Americas in the next year. So this is something that's uh, of, of major concern and obviously a, a story that we will continue to be following. We appreciate you staying on top of that for us. RT correspondent Marina Portnaya reporting from Miami.